It was about dusk, one evening during the supreme madness of the carnival season, that I encountered my friend. The man wore motley. He had on a tight-fitting, party-striped dress, and his head was surmounted by the conical cap and bells. He accosted me with excessive warmth, for he had been drinking much. I was so pleased to see him that I thought I should never have done wringing his hand. I said to him, My dear Fortunato, you are luckily met. Remarkably well you are looking today. But I have received a pipe of what passes for Amontillado, and I have my doubts. How, said he, Amontillado, a pipe, impossible, and in the middle of the carnival? I have my doubts, I replied, and I was silly enough to pay the full Amontillado price without consulting you in the matter. You were not to be found, and I was fearful of losing a bargain. Amontillado? I have my doubts. Amontillado? And I must satisfy them. Amontillado? As you are engaged, I am on my way to Lucrezia. If anyone has a critical turn, it is he. He will tell me, Lucrezia cannot tell Amontillado from Sherry. And yet some fools will have it that his taste is a match for your own. Come, let us go. Whither? To your vaults. My friend, no, I will not impose upon your good nature. I perceive you have an engagement. Lucrezia, I have no engagement. Come. My friend, no, it is not the engagement, but the severe cold with which I perceive you are afflicted. The vaults are insufferably damp. They are encrusted with nitre. Let us go nevertheless. The cold is merely...